Pakistani soldiers martyred in Balochistan. India to blame. I am Sebi Kazmi and you're watching Conflict Times. In Balochistan, Pakistan, a province rich with mineral gas reserves and mineral resources, it has been a rising amount of terror attacks in the last few weeks. Many Pakistani people blame the BLA, Baloch Liberation Army, who have been claiming responsibility for these terrorist attacks. But could India really be to blame? Could Iran be to blame? And what are the reasons? Why are they targeting China? BLA is a declared terrorist organization in only 2019 after the hard efforts made by Pakistan to convince the USA and Europe. If I can tell you a bit more of the details, BLA is a militant group operating in Balochistan region of Southwestern Asia. This group was founded by Juma Khan in 1964 in Damascus, and it has played an important role in 1968 to 1973 insurgency in Sistan and Balochistan province of Iran, and then in 1973 to 1977 in Balochistan province of Pakistan. However, the group's insurgency was defeated in both Pakistan and Iran, and the state of the group became unknown until 2004. The group re-emerged in 2004 with a few attacks in Balochistan. Allah Nazar Baloch took command of the group in 2006. Since then, the group has took responsibility for attack on government officials and military personnel. Last week, Kech district of Balochistan, there was a fiery gun battle at a security check post and more than 10 soldiers were martyred and many others are injured. The terror attack occurred in Pakistan's western border with Iran, north of Gwadar port. Yesterday, another four security personnel were killed and one more injured in a terrorist attack when their vehicles drove over landmines and exploded. BLA, Balochistan's Liberation Army, claimed the responsibility for these attacks and even the attacks in Lahore city in Pakistan last week, which killed three people. Now, this terrorist group has already claimed responsibility for several attacks and has been said it will target China's Belt and Road projects in Balochistan. Pakistan signed on China's Belt and Road initiative back in 2014 and China has agreed to spend heavily in the country on many infrastructures projects to complete the Silk Road initiative. The goal is to recreate the old Silk Road, which flourished during the Han Dynasty in China. The ancient Silk Road connected China with the Middle East, Africa and Europe. When completed this new Silk Road initiative, it will link China to Europe and Africa using roads, railways, airports and fiber optics connections along with seaports. China has been investing heavily in Balochistan, Pakistan, and with the development of Gwadar port on Arabian Sea and other projects such as roll and, uh, road and rail upgrades, power plants, as a part of a 60 billion China-Pakistan's economic corridor. Now, Balochistan, bordering Iran and Afghanistan, is a large sized province of Pakistan with only about 12 million people. The area is full of minerals and is said to be full of untapped minerals wealth around $50 trillion. The world's most expensive metal, molybdenum MO, has been recently discovered in Balochistan. Chagi district is known as Copper City. Balochistan is blessed with abundant natural resources, but plagued with poverty. Foreign investments can help unlock the province rich and transform the lives of people the richest natural resources provinces as worst social indicator. Rakotik gold mine, one of the world's biggest undeveloped gold and copper mines. And the province has a worth of $500 billion. Sui saw the natural gas fields in Sui Balochistan, full of natural gas reserves. Potential of incompatible tourism opportunities. Balochistan is a beautiful paradise, popular for its hilltops, rugged mountains terrain, and there are many tourist attractions area in Balochistan which can generate a revenue for tourism. Volcanoes, uh, national parks, lakes, waterfalls. This area is beautiful as. And according to World Bank, the shocking study, 
The Balochistan has the weakest long-term growth performance of all provinces in the country. With Balochistan's growth lagging behind the rest of Pakistan, its per capita income level has lagged behind other provinces for dollars 745. Balochistan has world social indicators. It scored lowest in the 10 key indicators for education, literacy, health, water and sanitation. The province generate only rupees 1.6 billion annually on its own. But like many other parts of the world where natural resources become your own enemy. For example, Central African countries, if you look at that, a dangerous mix of diamond and gold has created a civil war and interfere from the powerful countries to create religious tensions and create poverty. Venezuela, number one in the world for oil reserves, but the country itself is living in poverty. Iran, second in the world for gas reserves, a struggling economy. Same is happening in Balochistan. There are many different Baloch rebel slash terrorist groups, I would say, defeating the Pakistan army in this province. As these rebel groups went to Balochistan to be its own state, they want separation from Pakistan. Balochistan is always ruled by the tribal leaders, Sardars, who are rich, powerful, and some of them are even turned into warlords. Many of their children are living away from Pakistan in self-exile in different countries and they are operating various groups to create tension and military war. Pakistan has accused India for providing support, fund and weapons to create insurgency in Pakistan. Supporting these groups and the young generation of these Baloch tribal leaders who are living overseas, India has helped not only them but also protest, often organized in front of the UN and other Western countries. Pakistan always replied back to India in supporting the separation movement in India like Khalistan, a Sikh separation movement and few others. Both countries have shared evidence against each other on the world's biggest platform. Pakistan has provided dossiers, press conferences, evidence of India's secret agency's role in involvement in Balochistan, which of course India always deny. But just imagine if Pakistan will get these untapped resources and utilize the people of Pakistan, how good it will be for Pakistan and even for the neighboring countries. I am Sabi Kazmi and you're watching Conflict Times. Goodbye for now. Like, share and subscribe my channel.